Family is asking for help after a loved one was shot and killed on the east side. CBS 4's Jesse Wells spoke to the victim's widow about this unsolved homicide. Several balloons are still tied to the back of this business, marking the spot where a man was shot to death here on Saturday. Unfortunately, despite there being several witnesses here at the time, police are still not sure exactly who's responsible for that killing. Around 6 o'clock early Saturday morning, police were called to the parking lot of this auto zone on East Washington and found a 31-year-old man dead in the alley south of the business. The victim, Joshua Davis, was killed one day before his one-year wedding anniversary with Nakia Davis. I'm just feeling hurt, hurt, because he's taken away from me for good. Nakia admits she and Josh had recently separated, so she's not sure who he was hanging out with the morning he was shot or what may have motivated the violence. The victim did have a criminal history, but that does not give anyone an excuse to take his life. Josh had his demons, but at the end of the day, he still had a big heart. One neighbor shared a video taken in July, which shows cars parking the AutoZone parking lot and the adjacent alley. Those neighbors say large groups of people have gathered near the business every weekend for months. Police confirm after the shooting they did detain multiple people for questioning, but those witnesses were all released without helping police identify who may have fired the fatal shots. I guess they say it was like a lot of people that was out there or something. So out of all those people, at least one person can say something. Police are now asking for witnesses to speak up and help them solve the case. At the same time, Davis's widow wishes people would stop resorting to guns to solve their conflicts. Put the guns down. They've taken too many people that we love away from us. It's just too much. It's way too much. Again, because no arrests have yet been made in this case, anyone with information is still asked to contact either IMPD's Homicide Office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Women recovering from addiction are over.